depression. We as humans know what it is and have felt it in a some low points of our lives. We know it could be devastating and unhealthy. Birds can be depressed as well. We're gonna talk about depression and stress in parakeets, causes, symptoms and how to treat it. Not only are birds capable of becoming depressed, but prolonged depression or stress can lead to self-destructive behaviors and lower immune system. So it is really crucial for you to be able to recognize that your pet bird is depressed or stressed to keep him or her mentally and physically healthy. The cause of depression in pet birds could be from different reasons. It could be from an illness or recovering from one. It could be from simply changing its cage's place. Maybe your bird is bored. It could be from your budgie losing a partner. Or from simply losing his or her favorite toy. Depression in parakeets and parrots is actually more common than you might think. A lot of the causes of depression are the same causes for your bird being stressed. And stress has the same negative effect on your budgie if not even worse. In addition to all the causes we have talked about, your bird could be stressed just from a visit to the vet. Fear is one of the common reasons for your bird to be all stressed out. What are the symptoms of depression or stress among parrots? Depression signs mean that your bird is not on its usual cheerful mood. And many of the depression signs could also point to an illness. So a visit to the avian vet is probably the safest option to make sure your bird is disease free. If your bird has lost his appetite, birds have fast metabolism. If you notice a change with your parrot's food consumption, it could have a devastating effect on your parrot's health. Losing weight is very dangerous and it would need an immediate avian vet intervention. Fluffed up feathers, of course it is not necessarily means your budgie is depressed. But if he or she stayed like that for a long time, it could mean either an illness or depression. And you have to take your parakeet to the vet to see if it's an illness and needs a treatment. Aggression. It is easily recognizable behavior. While budgies do have their aggressive moments, but continuous aggression means your budgie is unhappy. However, don't associate aggression with biting. You might misinterpret biting, thinking your bird is aggressive, but budgies bite when he's in a fear, and usually it means he is stressed. It is a sign of pain or discomfort in birds. If you have a tame parakeet and you see a sudden change in behavior and he starts biting, then you need to understand what's causing this change of behavior. Maybe there's a new construction next to your house that recently has started making loud noises that stressed your bird. It could be many different reasons. You have to investigate. Your bird's vocalization could mean either he is depressed or stressed. You should be familiar with how your bird sings or chatter. If he or she started to sound louder than usual, or it could be quieter than normal, 
it could be coming from stress and depression. Maybe your bird is bored, unhappy and frustrated. Feather plucking and self-mutilation which is a case worse than plucking their feathers and they start biting their own skin, damaging feather follicles. It is caused by a severe trauma. These birds should not only be examined by an avian veterinarian, but also start taking anti-psychotic medication to stop harming themselves any further. Stress bars is a way of actually visually see the stress or depression on your parrot. It is not a health concerning issue, but it would open your eyes on your bird's overall happiness and quality of life. Stress bars are visible lines that run across your bird's feather. They can be easily overlooked if you are new bird owner. You can actually check the molded feathers if they have these bars. Feather stress bars are a deformity of the feather that can drastically reduce its effectiveness. So it is a very bad sign to your bird, and it requires huge amounts of proper nutrition, especially vitamin A, amino acids, and calcium. And this is actually why you should give your parakeet extra dose of food during molting. So how to treat a depressed or stressed bird? If you notice your bird showing any of these symptoms, the first thing you should do is schedule an appointment with your avian vet for a full checkup. If the vet finds no medical reasons for your bird's symptoms, depression and stress could be the cause. So we need to identify what is the cause of the depression and stress your parrot is experiencing. Start from your parakeet's cage. Does it meet all the requirements? If you don't know what are the requirements for the cage, please check my video on the best cage for your budgie. I keep a link in the description. Of course, keep the cage clean as well and clean water and food bowl. If your bird recently lost a favorite toy, maybe you need to replace it with something your bird likes, or maybe you can make or buy the same toy he or she had. To prevent stress, don't yell at your bird. There's plenty of other ways to teach your bird whatever you are trying to do, but yelling does not only stress him, but it might teach him that bad behavior gets your attention. Move slowly around your bird. If your bird attacks you, it means he is nervous or afraid. If your bird has suffered the loss of a partner, be a little patient. Birds grieve and it takes a bit of a time to get over death. If things don't improve in a few weeks, then see the avian vet. Consider getting a companion bird if you have only one bird and he or she seems depressed from boredom. So whatever is causing your bird's depression, you have to identify it quickly and see what changed recently that may have affected your bird and caused him to be depressed. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. 
or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.